for the defining of load patterns in ETAPS, I will go in the define load patterns. Here you can define all the load types, for example, dead load, live load, super dead load, earthquake load, wind loads, all load of types, even snow loads, you can define in the load patterns. So here by default, there are two load patterns defined dead load, uh, uh, its type is dead and here is a live load, its type is live. And here you can see uh, for the dead load, there is a self weight multiplier is one. What does it mean? For example, you have modeled the whole structure, then software automatically calculate the self weight of all the structure by considering uh, that is the dead load of the structure because we have multiplied with one. So we know uh, no need to calculate, for example, what is the length, width of the uh, beam or column, then multiply its density. Software automatically calculate the self weight of the structure. Here is a live load that will be zero because we will apply on the structure, on the floats, on the beams that what is the live load. And for example, we want to define a super dead load. So how we can define? First of all, I will write the name super dead. Okay. Space. Now I will select super dead load and there will be no need to multiply because self weight is already included in the dead. Add new load. So that is a super dead load. For, for the, in super dead load, you can put floor finish, uh, floor fittings, etc. Uh, in this super tight load. Now I will define the earthquake load. For example, earthquake earthquake in X direction. So for that, uh, I will select the type seismic. And from here, you can uh, select the code with which you are familiar, then the parameters you can understand. For example, here is a ASC 710 and UBC 97, uh, Euro code, Chinese, uh, there are uh, more, uh, more standards, for example, Indian standard. So now I am clicking UBC 97, add new load. So here you can see I have defined the earthquake load in the X direction, positive X direction. The, the type is seismic and the code uh, I am following is the UBC 97. So here I will modify the parameters. So there are uh, all the boxes are checked. So I will just click because I have applied the earthquake in the positive X direction. And eccentricity. Uh, that, that is allowed by the code, for example, ACA allowed that you can and uh, allow the eccentricity 5%. So here is a 5% allowed eccentricity. Time period will be calculated by software automatically. And the method A, uh, for example, in UBC, there is a, a method A and method B. So here you can put the parameters for the method A. Program automatically calculate this value vary for concrete structure, for steel structure, for uh, woodwork. So uh, select the value according to your uh, requirement. So user define if you are not using the time period calculated by the software, then you can define or input your own time period. So I am okay with the software. Software automatically calculate the time period of the structure. So earthquake uh, will be applied from top story is the story four. To the base so here top story and the base and uh, our strength factor r 8.5 what is that basically uh, i will come it uh, come here later first of all i will go to the seismic coefficients here is per, uh, seismic coefficients per code so first of all uh, i have to select that what seismic zone uh, uh, we, uh, where I am going to design my building, for example, it is zone 1, zone 2A, 2B, that depends according to requirements. For example, I am following UBC 97. So uh, then in UBC 97, here is a zone 1, 2A, 2B, 3 or 4. 
first of all i have to identify for example uh, my structure is going to lie uh, lay in a one uh, city so i have to identify what is the seismic category of that city so is it lie in the zone 1 2a 2b 3 or 4 for, for example i will select uh, my building is lie in the 2a zone so here is a uh, value 0 0.15 for example in the tab for example uh, that is the soil type if you uh, know the soil type how you can understand the soil type here is a conditions given by the core uh, your soil type will be SA if it is a hard rock and shear wave velocity is greater than 5000 and uh, if the soil stiff soil then 600 to 1200 wave velocity then your soil type is SD if that is so soft soil profile that is less than uh, 600 shear wave velocity then select SC if you didn't uh, perform the soil analysis or geotech report or on your side then you can uh, select the value of soil profile SC otherwise I prefer that you go for testing of the soil if you do not know at the time of designing you can select SE so here I am selecting SE and I have selected the zone 2A for 2A the parameter is 0 0.15 so here you can see the parameters for the 2A is 0 0.15 and uh, if I select 3 then correspondingly the value will be uh, uh, 3 zone 0 0.3 so here you can also see all the parameters are here and these are the near source factors if you select the zone 3 or 4 then you can see the parameters what is the seismic source type it's a near source or whatsoever that is present in the UBC so here I am selecting the uh, zone 2 uh, the software automatically pick the values of CA and CV and what is the importance factor importance factor for example if I am designing a hospital building definitely that is a most important structure or if uh, the, the building is a, a used for religious purpose then again the building is very important so I will assign these type of structures the extra factor for example I am going to design a nuclear reactor or nuclear plant then then definitely I will assign the importance factor much more than the uh, rest of the buildings for example residential buildings so for all the residential buildings the value is one for the other buildings the parameters are given in the code here is a occupancy category here is a seismic importance factor so what importance factor will uh, will you apply this is special occupancy structures these are structures for residential building so uh, i will select one for hazardous facilities for essential facilities the parameters is more now the last parameter in the earthquake definition is our strength uh, factor r here is the uh, our strength factor r so first of all i have to understand what building i am going to design it is a masonry structure concrete structure steel structure if it is a concrete structure then in concrete structure we design the structure uh, uh, of the frame uh, de design the concrete structure in three ways normally uh, one is the ordinary moment resisting frame then second is the intermediate moment resisting frame and third one is the concrete special moment resisting frame so for uh, ordinary moment uh, moment resisting frame we use three uh, value of r for the concrete intermediate moment resisting frame we use 5.5 and for special moment resisting frame for concrete that the value is 8.5 uh, when the frame is uh, uh, is lying in the special moment resisting frame zone that is in the uh, zone 3 and zone 4 for zone uh, 2a and 2b we normally design the intermediate moment resisting frame so you can put here 5.5 if you are designing in the uh, in the uh, intermediate moment resisting frame and put the value of uh, 8.5 if you are designing the special moment resisting frame uh, for simple 
for simplification what is the special moment resisting frame what is the intermediate intermediate uh, moment resisting frame the basic difference for that is the detailing you can see the retailing requirement for the special moment resisting frame the detail, retailing requirement for the intermediate uh, moment resistant frame rest of the designing is the same so that's all for the earthquake uh, pattern defining here is a defined earthquake in the x direction i will again apply a new load for the negative direction ubc add new load that is in negative direction modify i will just quickly modify here i will put 5 sc 0.15a okay that is a uh, load i have defined in the x direction now i will define the load in the y direction that will be plus y you can define all the loads in the one but i prefer in different load patterns so you can it's up to you a new load modify minus let me check in the previous one okay i have defined correctly so uh, that's how we can define the gravity loads and the earthquake loads in the uh, in the e tabs when we define these earthquake parameters the software automatically apply it to the structure but for the uh, live load and super dead load we have to apply on the in the slabs on the walls etc and for the wind loads i will discuss in the next video